Yo, what's up guys? Oscar here, back in here with another video. Today I got an awesome helmet to 3D print for you guys. It's something really awesome. I love it. If you guys saw the thumbnail, you know what it is. Let's not waste any time. Let's get started. It's your buddy Oscar back again with another video and today we're going to be making something special Something that is not exactly Power Ranger because it's not part of the Power Ranger mythos and Who am I talking about really? <laughs> of course, I didn't even say who I was talking about I'm talking about King Tyranno King Tyranno is actually an original character drawn by Tin Hung Bo Tran Also known as Art of Tran on Instagram as you can see here, he's done some of these amazing drawings of the Power Ranger characters. A lot of them which are his own original take on the characters, including King Tyranno. I can totally see why the character is so popular, he just looks so amazing. And if you guys really want to get a copy of one of his prints, you can actually contact him directly on Instagram. I'll make sure to leave a link to his Instagram down below. Alright guys, so previously people have commented and asking me, how did I cut files? How do I make these? Because I don't have a big printer, I have a small printer. But obviously I didn't cover that in my past videos, but I'm going to cover it today. And one of the main things that I did in, with King Tyranno was his shape and design. He doesn't really fit even on my CR-10. It kind of nudges a little bit onto the borderline, so it really won't print out that well. So what I had to do, I had to take it into mesh mixture. All right, guys. So one of the main things that we have to do is... First, take our file into Mesh Mixer because I had to divide the helmet into two parts and to figure out how to align it in a certain way to print it out because regardless of the fact that I have a CR-10, I really couldn't print it out because of the way the design is for King Tyranno. It kind of nudges onto the borderline of the print bed and I tried to print it out just to test it and it cut off and started clicking and I didn't want that. Alright guys, after exporting your file into Mesh Mixer, you're going to go into Edit and click on Plain Cut. After you go into Plain Cut, you're going to select and slice keep both pieces. That's important, to keep both. This is where you're going to be moving the cursor up or down, left or right, or in a circular motion, depending on how you want to cut the model. When you get into the position you're looking for, and you get into the desired cut, make sure everything is the way you want it and then click accept. After you click accept, then you're going to go into separate shells. These will separate the two pieces and make them separate. And there you go. You have two separate files waiting to be printed. Alright guys, so as simple as that, it's easy peasy lemon squeezy and the next thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to take those pieces into Simplify 3D. It's a slicing program that I use preferably. I used to use Cura but now I'm a Simplify 3D kind of guy. I'm actually going to be using Uncle Jesse's profile for the Simplify 3D slicing program to print out King Tyranno. And if you guys are wondering where I obtained the file, you can go see 3D Commander on Instagram. He's the very person that 3D modeled King Tyranno. And he's actually modeled a lot of other Power Ranger helmets including Kamen Rider. If you're looking for a custom helmet in an STL or PDO, he's your guy. Let him know I sent you. Links will be on the description below.
All right, guys. So we have our finished King Tyrannal helmet. I gotta say, it's one of my most favorite prints. Every time I print a, a new helmet, they be, they instantly become one of my favorites. And it's I'm just a big Power Ranger fan. I love the Sentai helmets, the Common Rider, all that type of stuff. And this is no exception. I, I just love this, and I, I look forward to finishing another version of this in the future. Uh, giving a nice paint job and everything, maybe just put it on display. But uh, this sadly is going to somebody else, um, and they're gonna finish it themselves. Um, but like I said, for the if you guys want to see the art and get a commission of, of those photos of King Tyran or another custom ranger, I will leave a link in the description below of the artist as well as the one who 3D modeled this helmet and gave me the file so I could print it out and show you guys this amazing epic looking thing it's it's oh oh my god it's, it's so wonderful it's so awesome i just love it oh i hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some good information in splitting a 3d image into several parts to fit on a smaller printer bed if you did learn something click that like button and hit subscribe and also don't forget to hit that notification bell also guys don't forget i am now a proud member of patreon if you guys would like to support my channel and to become a patron, please go to my Patreon and become a member. Any little bit helps, you can donate a dollar or more and to bring you guys some more amazing 3D prints and builds that you're absolutely going to love. But until next time guys, take care.